I seen this article on Showtime. I thought it was interesting. And we can chop it up and talk about it right quick. I'm not going to read the whole article. I'm just going to touch on certain parts within the article. And the title says Showtime will be absorbed into Paramount Plus. So what could that mean for boxing? After 47 years, Showtime as we know it will soon be gone. Will the chains also mark the end of a 37 years of boxing? Okay, we're going to go on to see what the CEO of Paramount Plus had to say. He says, I am thrilled to share the next step in our company's evolution. Today, we are announcing that we will be fully integrating Showtime into Paramount Plus across both streams and linear platforms later this year. Providing even more popular franchises and hit originals from viewers to enjoy. To reflect this change, both our premium streaming tier on Paramount Plus and Showtime Linear Networks will become Paramount Plus with Showtime in the U.S. Okay, now the reason why this is important because as we know, we really don't know what's going on with uh, Showtime PBC as far as boxing goes so we got to pay attention to what goes on at uh paramount and since showtime is being absorbed then everything is basically revolving around whatever paramount plus wants to do now the interesting thing that was said and like i said i'm not going to read the whole article because you really don't need to because i'm going to sum it all up for you the next thing they said is this we will divert investments away from areas that are underperforming and that account for less than 10% of our views. Now, it's no doubt that boxing on Showtime is underperforming. It's no secret. How could you do well when you don't give the boxing fans even a quarter of what they want to see? So how could you possibly be doing well? Okay, so that lets you know as far as taking revenue away from uh, shows that is not bringing in income, boxing is on that list. Okay, without a doubt, boxing is on that list. And this is the thing the reason why you need to pay attention to this is because this is a reflection of also what you're not seeing and getting in boxing. Hence, Terrence Bud Crawford, Errol Spence. Question, how could you put up or put on a fight like that when you have this looming over your head? You don't know if you will be or you won't be anymore. But I will say this as far as PBC, financial and whatever and whatnot. If your area is underperforming, let me ask you a good question. How are you going to get a new budget for boxing this year? If they're not willing to put money into areas that are underperforming and we know PBC is part of that, how do they plan on getting a budget for boxing this year? How does Al Heyman plan on getting reimbursed to put on these shows for boxing on Showtime if they are underperforming? Now you can understand one of the reasons why they're stalling on their side as far as the Terrence Bud Crawford, Errol Spence fight goes. Because how are you going into a temp or want to put on that fight and you don't even know if you'll be here? Why would you give up one of, one of your best tools to help them invest in your company? That's one of the top fights that you can give boxing. So of course I'm going to hold on to it because I need a deal. And since it's no reassurance that I'll even be here, then why would I give that fight up and make it harder for myself the next time around when I need this reimbursement? Also, this same thing that Paramount Plus is doing, we've heard this before. And this is the same thing that Showtime did before they shut down their boxing program. These are the exact same words. These are the exact same tactics they did. And what happened to boxing right after that? 
Sure enough, it was out of the window. So if Showtime is underperforming, and you know Showtime is underperforming, you know Showtime is desperate, especially when they struck up a deal with Jake Paul, thinking Jake Paul was going to save boxing. I did a video on that. Showtime really believed that Jake Paul was going to save boxing. That didn't work. Okay? So Jake Paul couldn't bail them out. All right? So they're still in that same position. This is why these fighters are not fighting. This is why people are jumping shit. This is why people can't get guarantees. This is why you're not getting these fights. On top of, they weren't giving you the fights in the first place. But you're especially not going to get those fights now, especially when I haven't got my reimbursement check to keep this train keep going. So, no, I got to hold out. You can't fight. You can't fight. You can't fight. You can't fight. No, I don't got a guarantee for you. No, I ain't got a guarantee for you. You guys going to have to wait till next year. Wait, wait this year. Why are these fights not being signed? Why are these contracts are not being signed as far as PBC side, Showtime side of things? Now you can understand a portion of what they are dealing with and why they are not delivering and giving you what they want. Because they don't know if they're at the end or not. And more than likely, they are. Now, I'm pretty sure Al Heyman will get some funds from somewhere. You know what I'm saying? Al Heyman is a smart dude. But as of right now, and we're not getting these fights and the Terrence Bud Crawford fight because they can't. Because there's unfinished business on the floor and Al Heyman needs to secure a budget for these boxers. Because as of right now, the well is dry and they are out of money. This is why people are jumping ship. Okay, and this is something that you have to pay attention to and keep your eyes and your nose to the ground because this is going to be a reflection of what you see inside of boxing. See, these casual boxing fans, these fanboys, these aerosexuals, they don't want to or not or don't have interest in paying attention to this part of the game. But if boxing is a business, then why would you want to understand business? Because all sports is a business first and a sport second. This is why you can't understand from a competition level why certain shit doesn't happen because it doesn't line up with business. And if boxing has showed you anything, is you need to follow the business before you need to follow what these sanctioning bodies say, what these belts do, and what those rankings say. Because at the end of the day, the, the dollar bill makes the determination nation and this is why everything is being held up but they wouldn't be in this position if they would just give the fights that people want to see you know then they wouldn't be on a chopping block and part of that group that paramount no longer wants to deal with or invest in but that's my thoughts on this like comment subscribe bruce vane i'm out what? another thing we're gonna change about these fight about getting this money stop getting this money when it's over you gotta pay me after the time the fight is over with we didn't want to wait no month or two weeks or three. We need it now.